What's the story with your face? You have to work on your social skills, James. What's the story with my face? It's filled with sharks and trolls and snot and fire. And now my neck and my knees and my elbows hurt. But at least I don't have a trach, right? I can't really complain about the story my face is telling. It's just a cold. I'm fine. You'd think maybe I have the black plague the way Mrs. B sucked in her breath when she saw me this morning. I'm fine, it's just a cold. She shook her head. Her hair swished. I don't think I've ever seen her hair down before. You almost look like a movie star, Mrs. B. Except with more lines around your eyes. No offense. She handed me a card. People's Clinic. Go get checked out, Timothy. Your mom can even take you after work. This place is open nice and late. I shrugged. I didn't say, No nurse tonight. No one to watch Levi. No way we can bring him with us. But maybe I should have. It doesn't matter, though. I'm fine. It's just a cold. I hate wearing a mask. It's already hard to breathe and the mask makes it worse. I've been trying to stay upstairs, keeping my germs in their own galaxy far, far away, but sometimes Mom or Marisol still need my help. On her way out the door, Marisol called up to me. I staggered downstairs. The zombie formerly known as Timothy she pressed a box in my hand. Pills. For the flu. They're from last year, but still good. Take them, Timothy. Get better, sport. I hate it when she calls me sport. But I took the pills. Even though it's just a cold. The sharks and trolls are battling inside me. Marisol's pills might actually be working. Maybe. I sat with Levi today, wearing my mask, sanitizing my hands. The first day in a long time, we could kind of hang out. I used my short fingers to sign brother over and over, and to fold his shorter fingers to sign brother over and over. Brother. Brother.